Fungus gnats are extremely annoying, and especially if they're indoors. By the end of this video, you should be a fungus gnat expert. You're gonna know exactly how to get rid of them, what to do to prevent them, organic ways that are low cost, and also a foolproof way to completely eradicate them from your plants. Fungus gnats are a small black flying insect, and that's probably when you're most likely gonna notice them. They start out as these small little larvae in your soil for about three to four days before they turn into these fully grown adult flying gnats. I get it? These larvae are almost this transparent, silvery looking slugs. They eat your root hairs, fungi, and other organic materials that are found in soil. These larvae accumulate in soil that's moist, so a really easy way to nip this in the butt is pay attention to how much you're watering your plants and don't use compost. They like that stuff. First and foremost, a foolproof way to avoid this is when you're picking your plants. When you're at wherever it is that you're getting your plants from, look in the soil about an inch or two deep and move the soil around to see if you see any of these little silvery slugs in there. And if you do, do not use that one. Get that thing over there, get it away from yourself because that is one that's going to eventually develop the fungus gnats and that's not what we want. Fungus gnats, no. When you're watering it, it makes your soil very moist and that's where the larvae like to accumulate and where they thrive and grow and then eventually turn into the gnats. So to not get the gnats, if you just don't moisten your soil so often, it won't be as appealing to female gnats and those are the ones that lay the egg because each gnat can lay up to 300 eggs. If you are overwatering your plants or watering your plants often, then your soil is more likely going to be moist for a longer period of time. And that's how the larvae begin to form in your soil. One thing that you can do to help prevent that is do not use compost in your soil for your indoor plants because compost has a lot of the things that larvae like to eat. Another way to avoid these fungus gnats altogether is to just bottom water your plants. If you're bottom watering your indoor plants, then you're not going to get that moist soil on the top of your plants where the fungus gnats like to accumulate. When you water your plants from the bottom, your plants roots will suck up the water, not giving the top few inches of soil a chance to get moist. If that top soil isn't moist, then you're not going to be able to develop these little slugs that eventually turn into the fungus gnats. Some signs that you might be having a fungal gnat problem, subtle wilting, a loss of vigor, poor growth, and or yellowing. And if you have a very bad infestation of fungal gnats, then you might lose a portion of your plant, or your plant might just get injured really easily, which also isn't great, because you ain't gonna be running around putting band-aids on all your plants. When you are potting your indoor plants, make sure to avoid any organic materials that hold water, such as peat moss or anything of that nature, because these materials encourage egg laying, and eggs turn into slugs, turn into fungus gnats. Where must fly water go? Well, let's say it's already too late. You have fungus gnats lying around, and you have larvae in your soil. <laughs> well, that's annoying. But there are things that you can do to get rid of them. In this case, something that'll help isn't this fly swatter, but waiting until there's at least two inches of dry soil in between each water. Giving your soil this time to dry up will make it more likely that there won't be egg laying females in your soil. You can also sprinkle a little bit of mosquito bits into your soil. You can sprinkle some of these bad boys onto your soil and then the way that they work is they activate while you water them. After you water them, the biological makeup of these gets soaked into your soil and it kills the larvae without damaging the rest of your plant. That's kind of a slower way for them to work. A faster way that's still not so fast is throwing them into water and letting them get saturated until the water has a slight tint to it and using that to water your plants. These mosquito bits were specially created to get rid of any flying insects and are not going to hurt your plants or harm any other life that you got going on inside your house. That kind of does speed up the process a little bit, but honestly, this still does kind of take a while for it to work. You can also release fungus gnat predators into your soil. Like a little bug, it's like a little bug. These are tiny but effective killers of fungus gnats and other harmful slugs to your soil. Try and release 10,000 predators per 200 to 1,000 square feet, depending on the level of pest infestation you got. This beneficial insect prowls the soil, attacking the larvae and feeding on their content. After you release them into your plants, it does very slowly but steadily get rid of the fungus gnat problem that you have. 
That's not really an instant solution, but it's a solution that you could use. Another low cost option would be to put a little soapy tray of water in or around your plant because these bugs aren't smart enough to not drown in the soapy water. So although that will help, it's not gonna be an overnight solution either. So another option would be is to get this yellow sticky piece of paper. It's literally just a piece of paper that's yellow and is sticky. If you don't want to spend the extra money on buying sheets of yellow paper that are sticky, then you could just get yellow paper and put some Vix or something sticky that will get the bugs stuck on it. And that is also a way to get kind of the same solution as these. You take these and you stick them in your plants and the bugs will get stuck to them, but that's not solving the solution, it's just kind of a temporary fix for some of the gnats that are going to be flying around. But if you don't want to wait for the mosquito bits to take effect or have little sheets of yellow paper with bugs stuck to them all over your house, then you can use an insecticide. We have a minimum risk insecticide according to the Environmental Protective Agency, and it's our flower shield. You might be pleased to know that our flower shield is made out of products exempt from the EPA registration under the minimum risk pesticide according to FIFRA 25B. This is a solution that you spray directly onto your plants. All you have to do is use two ounces for every one gallon of water that you spray onto your plants. And it's good for indoors, outdoors, powdery mildew, a bunch of other stuff that's gonna harm your plants. So it's basically a shield for your plants. Oh my God, flower shield, wow, good name. You either wanna apply the flower shield early in the morning or later in the evening. Or if you're growing indoors, then whenever you're turning your grow lights off. The ingredients that are in Flower Shield don't allow any of the insects to build up an immunity to it, so it will be just as effective the first time as it is the 51st time. This is probably the best answer to a fungus gnat problem because it works instantly, and all you have to do to make sure that they don't come back is spray your plants once or twice a week. But if you want a more organic way to deal with these annoying gnats, then you can use a Peringula plant. This is a carnivorous plant that kind of looks like a succulent, but it has sticky petals that will catch the little fungus gnats and slowly digest them. If you want an immediate solution, then go in our description where you can find our flower shield. And I will also leave links to the other products that will help you get rid of your fungus gnats. Not as fast, but they still work. Do me a huge favor and uh, water that subscribe button so we can grow together. Leave a comment down below if you have any solutions as to how you get rid of your fungus gnats. And make sure that you like this video for YouTube's algorithm and us to grow and we all to grow together. And that's it. Have a good time gardening and get rid of your fungus gnats because they're hella annoying. Alright, love you. Bye.